Hello everyone. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a e-kit made from IKEA. It's a two drawer. It's 27 and one half by 13 by 13. Okay, so the depth is 13, it's 13 high, but it's 27 and a half wide. Okay, so uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, the instructions on this stuff is kind of weird. Okay, um, so before you even start, make sure you prepare all your tools, get everything ready, you know, and organize yourself. So this is what the instructions look like, okay? There's no words, uh, okay? So this, this is what, what the instructions are so it's real real important when you're going through this and I'm going to explain everything that you see you're going to have a bunch of holes in addition you're going to have uh, different uh, little uh, what do you call these things uh, panels that some of them have a bunch of screws and then the most important part about this thing is, you know, when you start, you're going to organize your uh, panels like this, okay? There's one panel that has a number, and it's a one. And that one, you have to have it, like, facing you, and it's going to be upside down. So if it's faced the other way, first of all, it won't work, because then you're not going to see all these holes, okay? So, um... And it, it, it doesn't explain it. It shows you where each hole is going to go. And I'll, and I'll show you in more detail. So let's go, and ha go ahead and get closer to this thing here. And you got to... It's a little tight in here. So let me see. I have a glare. And I'm trying to move around this thing here. Okay, here we go. I wish I didn't have that glare there. Let me see. Give me a second here. All right. So, um, when you're going through your instructions, have this panel exactly how you see it in the book okay so let me move this things out of the way okay so basically they're saying it to put it like this in a flat surface right I don't have the room to do that so when you're looking at this panels let's see if you can see this okay right in here is this area right here. This is this. And you're gonna do the same thing to this. And now here, remember what I was telling you? That uh, your panel has to have a one. That one is going to be upside down. So when you start this thing, go ahead and do it this way. Okay, so uh, so when you go to the next page, it's going to tell you how to put these things here. Okay, so uh, again, you know, uh, since I move stuff around, I got to make sure. Uh, no, everything's good. Okay, now, <clears throat> so when you're looking at this, you have all this things that are already drilled, right? So what they're saying, and you make sure you pay good attention to this, is that you're going to put one of those here, and then you're going to do one here here 
and be real careful which holes. So this is the overall. Then here you're gonna see which holes they go into. For instance, uh, this one is gonna be the bottom face. The way this this is faced. So you have a left and you have a. You, excuse me. You got two left and you have two right. Okay, and it tells you on each directions which holes to use, and you're gonna have two sets of holes on this thing. You're gonna use the bottom one on the left, and then on the right, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna use the bottom. Just pay real good attention to which holes you're gonna uh, put it in. And so, what this is saying, you use the one all the way to the left, and you're gonna use the second to the right okay so let's go ahead and put those together <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna do the one on the left first it's hard to get it wrong but uh, these things actually have a, a an L okay so and the other one has a R so it's kind of hard to get it wrong if you uh, unless if you're not paying attention so we're going to put this in here and it is saying to use the last so we're going to use the top one we're going to use the last bottom hole we're going to use the second to the right bottom hole okay now uh let me screw these things in here what I really should have done is had this stuff ready for real. Um, I normally have these things already laid out. I had a phone call and it interrupted my con concentration. So, so I would have laid this out in a different location and um, <clears throat> then I would have took out what I needed so okay so we're gonna get those screws and it's gonna be it's gonna be this funny looking screws right here okay so these are the screws that we're going to use. They're fat, okay? So I'll put that right, uh, right here. And then let me put everything away so we, we don't stumble. Okay, and get my drill. Don't, don't stick to it, okay. So let's go back, put them, make sure it's the top one. And with my fingers, I'm gonna start it. It's lined up on both sides. What I'm gonna do, it, it's not it's not level. Okay, here. What I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna start it with a screw. Okay, and I might that way I can hold it this way. Um, okay, so. There's the first one, make sure that it's, you don't strip it. <clears throat> so you want it to make sure it's straight, in other words. And it's going in straight. I'm gonna do the second one. Let me see if y'all can see. Okay, let me move this up a little bit. Okay, so the top row, skip a row, then it's gonna be the next row. 
and I'm just starting it and then I'll use my drill to uh, tighten them up. Okay, now that I gotta start it, all I gotta Just saves a lot of time then at the end I always make sure that you don't want to tighten them too hard I, I've stripped things before this one could use a little bit more okay you just snug it okay got that one done I can put this aside make room for this other one okay so look at the instructions and on this one it is same thing the top then the third one and then we're gonna use the bottom okay so it's gonna be the top one here and then it's gonna be the second to the left on that top rail or the you know where the holes are there's number one number two what come on okay do the second one second to the bottom you're gonna use one on the right the first hole and then the second to the left on this one Just tighten it up Now we're going to go to step number four. <clears throat> Remember, there's no instructions, so uh, let me let me um, review this and see what they're talking about because there's no instructions. So give me a second here. All right, so I found. Some little packages okay and inside those packages are some little rubber squares here let me see if I'm to get them out here. okay it's it appears that they're saying to uh, place them in this position so let me show you what I'm talking about <clears throat> so we're talking about step four okay and so it's saying to put these things inside there which are right it, on the left hand side it'll be down here on the right hand side it'll be on the other side so i'm going to put them in there because i can't find any other it's only showing one normally they'll show you to put it in every position i'm going to go ahead and do it and because uh, it'll be easier to take out than to put in once we put these boxes together so uh this is what I'm talking about right here. <clears throat> it appears that they want me to put this little thing like this right here. Okay, let me see if, if I can uh, you see right in there and right in here. I'm going to do it on the other side. So on this other side, it's flipped around a little bit. And these things are moving. You, you, you see you see how these things are not moving? I'm gonna show you how to lock that. Okay, so uh, before we even put those, let me let me show you how to lock those. <clears throat> so they don't move on you. So 
on step four right here is going to explain what to do and and i'll show you what what they're trying to explain because remember there's no nothing that explains anything so if you push it'll lock there's a little lock here see you go in and it and it, it locks then you can go ahead let me see if you can see okay so the fat in goes that way and all I'm doing is sticking it in there uh, that's all I can see we'll, we'll know if it's working or not uh, so that's what I'm doing right now like I said it'll probably be easier to remove them later on okay now the next step is saying to do uh, is to put it together right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize this real quick and then uh, then we'll uh, go from there all right so I got this thing or well actually I didn't organize anything it's still the same way it was before uh, I just had to put this towel in here so basically I put the stuff aside one thing you want to make sure and it tells you right here that and make sure that this is the left one this is the right because we haven't changed anything okay so make sure that this is up okay make sure this other one it's up this has to be facing that way see same thing here that way you know you don't want to do it this way first of all the <clears throat> it's not good let me see those things if you flip it around you you're not going to have that diagram like that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to move this down we're going to move this up the instruction says to lift this up like this okay and then We are going to, um, well, first, let's, uh, let me see which one it says. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is get this. So we're going to face it up. Okay. And th th there's a, a, a big notch, a round one, that's going to fit here. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. So basically, it's going to go in here like this. And then we're going to push down. Uh, actually, I have my mallet. Oh, you, there, you can see it. Okay. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hold this up. See? We're going to do the same thing to the other one. got a round and then it's gonna go down so I'm gonna push this off a little bit I don't want to scratch something so this out of the way okay hopefully I can see this okay like that and I'm gonna move this thing out of the way so y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me make sure that I see. Yes. Okay, so put 
put it in position. Okay. Then I'm just gonna line that up. And the bottom was not lined up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off. So I didn't line it up, so you, you'll be able to see if it's lined up or not. Now it's lined up. So make <coughs> oh. okay. make sure it's lined up. Let me see if y'all can see. Good. Okay. So earlier this wasn't lined up right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and ah, see it keeps on, keeps on. For some reason, it keeps on moving on this side, and I don't wanna. I'm gonna have to do it this way where I can actually see if it's lined up. I was hoping I could see everything, but so this is lined up. I try to line it up as much. See, if doing this, I don't want that. It has to be like that, but it's not doing it. There you go. Okay. So you got to make sure this is lined up good. And you know, it might take some moving around. Okay. So now, now, so we did this, we did this. So we're going to go to number seven. Okay. Before we do the back panel, we got to put that in there okay and it it specifically talks about what not to do and in other words we don't want it sticking out it's gonna have to go inside inside so let me find that panel There are two of this, they're skinny, right? So the, I believe it's gonna be the large one of the two. And um, let me flip this thing around so you can see what I'm gonna do. I can, when you move this stuff around, just don't grab it. Make sure you're grabbing everything so that uh, you don't, I'm not, so nothing gets out, out of line. Okay, so let me see if you can see. Perfect. Okay, so now, remember, we got two of them. First of all, this one here, 
it's not gonna fit there. We know this one is not gonna work, okay? So you're gonna grab, you have that thing. All this should be all lined up. So right in here, it's not aligned perfectly. So I wanna tap on the left hand side. Now it's lined up. Okay, so we're gonna align this one. Stick it in. Okay. And make sure. Okay, remember what he was saying. Don't let that thing be sticking out. You, you're gonna take it all the way, all the way down here, and then you're gonna squeeze these things together. Okay, and then what I'm doing is I'm feeling around to make sure that everything's still lined up in the corners. Everything looks good. Now, so we just did that. Now it's saying to go ahead and put that last panel. Okay, let me see if you can see. Okay, yeah, that last panel. Now, uh, then we'll go ahead and, and, and do the rest of it. So let me go ahead and put that last panel. We want to make sure that this is with this right here, okay? So you're gonna flip it around. You got a round notch, round notch. So the round is gonna go inside, up, and so we can actually flip it this way to make it easier. go and just got out of line oh that's lined up okay everything's lined up okay before we start doing anything can you see it yeah so feel around and make sure that nothing's out of place uh well we have it this way <clears throat> i'm gonna hold it with my hands and with my left, with my right hand, I'm gonna use my body as a leverage and I'm gonna tap down here until I get a little bit of it in and then I'll flip it and then I'll finish it off. So I'll tap, 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 tap. Whenever you're doing stuff like this, never go all the way on one side because sometimes you can damage because it's going at an angle. So if you inch it little bits at a time, then it works a lot better. Okay, so now I'm gonna hold my hand right here. And then down here, it's off just a hair. There it is. Now I can feel everything feels good. And I'm looking around, everything looks great. Okay, so we're on step eight. Let's see what step nine. Uh, okay, now we're gonna put this little things. So let me let me organize, get the right count, have them ready, so we don't waste a lot of time. Okay, so again, we are on step nine, and what it's talking about on step nine, you're gonna see eight of these little things here okay you have a fat one oh, oh I don't kill me if she hears me dump stuff around okay so you got a fat one and then you got a skinny one the fat one has a you know it has a flat side okay that is gonna go into four areas you have three at the bottom, three at the top, uh, one on the right, one on the left. And uh, so there, this little holes right in here. Let me 
close close this thing up a little bit. Maybe y'all can see it better. What I'll do is this my camera. Put it at a different angle. Or you can see, oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. So remember what I do at the bottom, I'm gonna do at the top and then left and right. And you can see those holes right here. Okay, so you're gonna see tiny little holes. Then you're gonna see a fat one. Same thing here, you're gonna see some tiny ones, but you're also gonna see some fat ones. Now, one thing to keep in mind, see this number one? That has to be at the top. There's a reason. If you flip this thing around, if you flip it around and this thing, you, you see that space right there? Right in here? The only way that this works, you see, when you put this thing, because it this thing moves up and down. Now we're about to secure it and hold it in place, but you got to have number one up this box. Everything depends on this, how you have this number one. So let's go ahead. The flat surface goes against that uh, the panel. You're gonna push it down. Okay. Same thing, remember the fat ones. They go first. You got three at the bottom, three at the top. One in the middle, here. One in the middle here. Then, this is what locks them in place. Same thing, you got a flat area. It's gonna go right inside that little hole. And you'll hear it, okay? You're gonna do that to each one of them. What this thing does, what's inside there, it kind of opens it up and you can you can feel that it starts becoming secured. Why do we have an extra one of this? Oh, right here. Okay. Now we have a pretty secure cabinet here. Or I don't... So this is what we've done so far. Okay, so now, remember, it cautions you about, it's already turned around, but always keep number one up. Okay, now here's the deal. If uh, if you were to use, there's two ways that you can just use this for a wall cabinet or on the floor cabinet, right? Um, this is if you were going to use it for um, the floor. We're not going to do that. We are going to use this for a wall. Okay, so... All this stuff here, 14, 15, that, that, that is for if this is going to sit on the floor. Okay, uh, and it talks about lining it up. We're not doing that. If y'all are doing it, then that's something different than what I'm doing. Okay, now, um, so it talks about how not to carry this. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and um, so remember, we're still talking about this kind of uh, cabinet. That's not the cabinet we're doing. Okay, so now we're gonna build the little 
things that go inside here, okay? So let me prepare those, get them organized, and I'll come right back. All right, for step 18, 19, 20, 21, we are going to use a regular hammer. Uh, you could use this probably, but I only use this for soft, soft uh, products. This is soft, but it, it will be easier to use it. Okay, so I have these things organized in a way where it'll be uh, less time consuming. I already have the material that I'm going to use specifically to step 18, 19, 20, 21. What I'm gonna do, first of all, I went ahead and put this the way it should go. And if you put these things, when you put them in here, this grooves gotta line up with this. So I know this belongs to this side, and then this one belongs to this side. Because when I put these things in here, these things line up. Okay, so I am going to put this aside. I already know what to do here. This is what's going to go on the back side. And you can tell because it has notches. That other stuff don't. This, this one's here don't have notches. Okay, so what it's talking about doesn't have notches. So I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to put this down here and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to do left, right, left, right, and so forth. Okay, so to the left one, the circle goes into the round area, and I'm going to kind of just push it up a little bit. Go to the left hand side, do the same thing, and then I'm going to push it down. I'm going to get my mallet, a rubber one. And I'm going to tap until this lines up with that. So, perfect. Good. Good. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is put the... Um, this thing here okay and this is going to be sticking out a little bit okay we want it to stick out if it's not sticking out you're doing something wrong because this little notch is going to have to go inside um, here okay so this is how it's going to go. Give me a second here. Oh, I, I, I haven't read the instructions, but I'm going to see. Yeah, it fits right in there. Okay, that notch fits right in there, and then it, it goes back and forth, right? So, <clears throat> now, these are the ones that you're going to use to stick right in here okay and oh, let me see if you can see it sorry about that so <clears throat> I'm gonna align it up okay and then I'm just gonna do the same thing to this other one uh, I want to make sure that I'm not I try to follow the instructions as they go Okay, because you take the wrong step, you might have to take something apart. So that's what I was reading. I was getting ahead of myself. I didn't even read that part. Well, there's no reading. I viewed that diagram. Okay, so there's number one. Okay, then let's go ahead and do the other one. Remember, I'm already organized. So... I, all I got to do is do this, come down here, get my mallet, and 
line up, get the other one, go in, put the back panel, make sure it's inside there, grab the back part, that groove fit in there, line up the holes, start hammering away. see what the next step is. We're on 21. There's only a few more pages to go. Now I gotta get this, place it in this position here. Okay. And we gotta get this things and push them, put them in there. So um, it looks like there are two of them. Okay. So, give me a second. Let me get that all that uh, materials put uh, put up. So, step twenty-two and twenty-three. It looks like the only thing we need is a screwdriver. So, in those packages, you're gonna have this two of each and they're gonna go right in here. So you're gonna have one on the left, one on the right. So you want it to look like that. On this side, on that, on that side, you know, you want it to do that. Okay, so and you can see by the diagram that, that is correct. Okay, so now I got them in place and they got two things right here where the screws go. Okay, there's eight screws, so I know that that's the right one that goes there. So I'm gonna grab the first one and I, I won't be able to use the drill on this. Sure. Make sure it goes in straight. I always put the first one in. Second one. There. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing in so when I put it in there, that is going in straight. Then I'm gonna tighten it up.
something didn't look right. When I'm doing stuff like this, there's two screws, I alternate back and forth, back and forth, so that the stuff lines up good, okay? Because if you start pushing it one way, sometimes you bend uh, items by uh, doing it the other way. So you see, I always go back and forth so that it lines itself up. you to put those is <clears throat> my battery's running down so I have to hurry up on this okay so we're you see the flat surface is gonna go up on both on both of them the flat surface is up in other words this is a flat surface it's up you have a round and you have a flat surface. So we're going to go ahead and stick those in there like that. Okay. Same thing, we're going to do all four of them. So I'm going to pause for a little bit because I'm going to have to charge my uh, phone battery. The next thing we want to do, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so on each side of this rails, there are some grooves. So <clears throat> the way it looks like is that we're going to put it in the flat side up. Okay, there's a little hole. Right in here, there, the main kind of hard doing this, so it's gonna fit. You see those grooves right there? You see those ratchets? There's a ratchet right inside here too, uh, right there. You see? So that is gonna go right in there. So I wanted to show you. Okay, so I got a light there. Ho hopefully, it doesn't get in in our way. Okay, so I'm gonna. Face up, I'm gonna line that little hole, okay? Oh, by the way, this thing has a spring action, right? So I'm gonna push in the first one, then I'm gonna push it in, and it's gonna snap. You hear it snap, okay? And it talks about, oh, it, 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 it automatically does that. So that's gonna do it itself. So uh, I don't know what, what that is about but anyway so I'm locking it back in place I'm gonna do the second one equally so I'm gonna try to make sure it's lined up it snapped and that one snapped okay now it looks like the only thing we have to do is put the drawers back in or not back in but put it in so move this out of the way if everything worked out those drawers should go in the instructions that say that you're going to have to put at an angle. 
okay? So this is what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put it at that angle, okay? So let's see if I work, if I did everything right, this should work. Otherwise, I did something wrong, and I hope I didn't. I got a lot of things I have to do. I love those spams, can't get enough of that. Okay, so I'm gonna go at an angle. Okay. And look, it worked. Oh my God, can't believe it. Boom, okay. Oh, can y'all see that? Yeah, perfect. Let me move it a little bit. So I must have followed the instructions, even though there were no words. It did work. So we're gonna go at an angle. Oh, you know what? Well, doesn't matter. There it goes. Boom. All right, I did something right. Hey guys, thank you for watching my videos. And uh, now the next thing we're gonna do, we gotta put a rail on this thing.